Hey guys, Half Gluck up here. This video is a review of Mole Tool Helmet Clean. Okay folks, so obviously the first thing we want to do before we start utilizing our product here is to remove the face shield from the helmet. Now the next thing you're going to want to do before you get crazy spraying this stuff is you want to go ahead and close your vents. Now I ride with my vents open most of the time unless it gets too cold. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close these because they're all open right now. There we go. Now a little bit of background information on this helmet. Okay, so this is a Bell Vortex Flying Tiger. Um, this is my only motorcycle helmet. I've had it since the very beginning. I am uh, almost four years into my riding career and uh, this helmet has actually never been cleaned. Now you can probably see at this level of zoom the, uh, the bug guts and the grime and the general nastiness that this helmet has accrued um, <laughs> over almost four years of riding. You know, it, some of the bug guts are old, some of the bug guts are new. Uh, one thing's for certain though is that it's all been on here for, you know, a substantial amount of time. And this helmet was very vividly colorful, as you can probably imagine, uh, before all of this grime and dirt and just nastiness found its way onto the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this product by Motul. This is Motul Helmet Clean. Comes in a simple spray bottle. Uh, there's, uh, you know, the thing about it is, I would imagine it's going to be pretty cut and dry. And what I mean by that is either the stuff is going to work or it's not, right? There is no gray area here. Either we're going to spray the helmet down with this stuff and it's going to come clean or it won't, right? So it should be a pretty brief review on this product. Uh, again, either it will work or it will not. So let's get right to it. On the back here, that's not English. <laughs> um, okay, so... Mole Tool Helmet Clean cleans the outside of the helmet without leaving streaks. Anti-insect action. Neutral and non-aggressive formula that effectively dissolves oily or dirt. Let's see. I can't read. I'm sorry. That effectively dissolves oily or dry dirt without damaging the surface. Suitable for all helmets. Spray over the outside of the helmet. Let stand a few moments. And then wipe down with a soft cloth. Okay, so what do we have here? A soft cloth, eh? That's a beer. Oh, here we go. There. It's a uh, it's an old T-shirt, old cotton Hanes standard run-of-the-mill T-shirt. That's what we're gonna use. Um, so, as you saw from the instructions here, it's really no science involved. Uh, you literally spray the thing down, give it a few minutes to penetrate, and then wipe it clean. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so I have it zoomed in at this level of detail so that you can see the product spray on there. And we'll just uh, we'll look at what it does to this grime and these bug guts and just see how effective it is. Uh, so again, the application instructions is that you spray it on, uh, leave it on for a few minutes, and then wipe off with a soft cloth. So here we go. Let's spray it. Spritz is on there pretty good. I might be <laughs> doing a little bit of overkill here, but it's whatever, right? We want to see if the stuff works, man. I'm just going after. You guys can't see. Let me zoom out. I am just hitting this thing all over. It's got a good smell to it, too. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's almost like a suntan spray. Uh... <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but seriously, it smells like suntan spray. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Alright, I have absolutely doused this thing. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, now we let it sit. And uh, we'll just get to wiping it down, I guess. It seems like such a simple product, right? No tool helmet clean. 
I guess it is what it is, guys. Let's see. All right, so it's been about five minutes of this product standing on the helmet. Um, got our uh, white cotton t-shirt here. Let's just give it a wipe and just see what the, uh, the initial results are. So here we go. Wow, well, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely a more vivid color, uh, if you will, right? Uh, just giving it a wipe down here, and I'd have to say it's, wow, it's a nice slick finish, too. So it's supposed to leave like a anti-bug gut film um, to the point where once this product is on the helmet, it'll actually shed the guts off of the surface. Does that make sense? Like, it's just a film that is anti-bug gut. Now, this helmet is absolutely filthy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, do another application of this stuff and uh, just to give it a fair shake, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give it one more application, let it sit eat away at this stuff a little bit more and uh, and in fact I'll probably end up doing several applications of it just to give it the benefit of the doubt right because this helmet again is very dirty has years of grime buildup on it all right I'm gonna go ahead and give it another spritz Alright, now this time I'm going to get really aggressive with scrubbing on it too, so. Alright, so let me just really get after it, scrub on this thing, and uh, we'll take a look at the results. Alright guys, and so here's the final product. And so I guess at the end of the day, the big question is, well, is it worth it, right? Well, for one, does it work? Yeah. Just look. Yeah, it works. It got it very clean. Um, is it worth it? It is uh, about $9 a bottle. It's like eight fifty or something like that. I bought this from RevZilla. Uh, so it's under $10. Um, does it work better than, you know, like soap and warm water? Uh, you know, it might be on par with simple soap and warm water, but what you're getting from this product that you will not get from soap and warm water is the film. Now, you can actually feel a slickness to this now. Uh, there's no more gritty surface feel to it. Um, and so now we have this protective film on here that is supposed to shed bug guts and just prevent grime in general from uh, accumulating on the helmet from here on out. Uh, now, I'm, I'm sure just like with Rain-X, for example, the, the chemical will eventually wear off um, and you'll have to apply it again. However, you know, for $8.50, $9, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, sure, it's worth it. Absolutely. Now, looking closely, Let's come in close and let it uh, focus in. There we go. All the guts are gone. Now you see little imperfections here and here. Um, what that actually is is nicks, little tick marks or whatever from rocks and just debris from, uh, from the highway hitting the helmet. Uh, so it, it's actually clean. That's not bug guts or anything that you see there. But just looking in the glare, it came quite clean. In fact, it came 100% clean, really. <laughs> there is the Bell Vortex Flying Tiger graphic in all her glory. Clean as a whistle. So, in conclusion, guys, Motul Helmet Clean. Yeah, why not? For under 10 bucks, grab a bottle. And besides, it's Motul. Motul's the shit.